The ANC has dismissed calls for President Jacob Zuma to be impeached over the Nkandla scandal as a premeditated position which has nothing to do with the release of the public protector's final report this week. The ANC said at a media briefing in Johannesburg on Thursday that it condemned what it called mischievous and false assertions from some in political circles that it intended to ignore the public protector's report or undermine its findings. For more analysis on the Nkandla fallout, we are now joined live from my Johannesburg studios by Professor Professor Ian Rousseau, the Head of School of Economic and Business Sciences at the University of Wits in South Africa. Thank you, Prof, for joining us. So what's your reading of the position taken by the ANC that those involved in the Nkandla affair, including President Zuma, should be held responsible? Good evening and good evening to your listeners. In respect of the ANC view, it's of course the only view that the ruling party can take. In other words, the public protector had found that President Zuma should repay some of the money and the INC obviously agreeing with this. It is however important to point out that the public protector didn't attach any amount to the benefits accruing to President Zuma of the improvements of what I want to call his Nkandla Palace. So, it's almost two months before the next elections. Do you see anybody emerging to replace President Zuma at this stage? At this stage, I, see not, uh, I do not see President Zuma being removed from his position. He has been elected to his position and it is too short before the general election for the ruling party to have a change of president. However, the question whether President Zuma can continue to govern the country is an important one that should be answered. It should also be pointed out that this is not the first upgrade done at Nkandla when Mr. Zuma was deputy president of the country between 1999 and 2006. Security upgrades have already been done at Nkandla, so these are additional security upgrades to those done during his term as deputy president, which makes it so much more uh, expensive. And obviously, there's just, you know, some clip we've aired of listening to views of some of the South Africans interviewed. Some of them tend to think that uh, that money could have gone into much more use. So what difference then would the amount of money spent on Kandla have made to, 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 to the lives of South Africans? Yes, indeed. This is taxpayers' money. Uh, the first principle, of course, is government could have raised less taxes from the South African public leave more money in their pockets to spend as they see fit rather than to raise it by means of taxes to spend on Nkandla. However, the Nkandla money could have been used to provide something like 166,000 PCs or tablets or laptops to learners at schools. It could have been used for a school improvement program amongst others. So there are many other alternatives on which this large amount of money could have been spent which has now been spent to the benefit of the president of the country and his family. Mm, the public protector has asked for a refund of some of the money back into the public purse. Is this possible? And what steps can be taken if those involved are reluctant to do so? Well, the public protector suggested that President Zuma should repay money in respect of certain of the improvements that are obviously not uh, related to security like the cattle crawl, the swimming pool, a uh, few others. Without going into details, this has not been quantified so there is no specific amount having been decided that President Zuma should pay back. But if an amount should be decided, you can simply make a transfer into the National Revenue Fund, which is a fairly simple procedure by just transferring money from your own account to the South African government's National Revenue Fund. All right, let's leave it there for now. Professor Annie Rousseau in Johannesburg, thanks very much for those insights.